Hi everyone, uh, it's me again. So today we, um, we've got a, a light change. Now, we have reached a point in time where it's a transition between the old and the new. From fluorescent technology, we are going on to LED. So a lot of households have uh, fluorescent lights all over. And it's about time that when the fluorescent uh, light fails, maybe it's a light, maybe it's a startup, it's a bulb that fails, it's about time to change. An LED. Now, changing to LED doesn't mean that you need to change your entire light fitting. You know, if you like it, if it fits your house decor, it's really easy, especially for these kinds of lights, to do an LED upgrade. So I want to uh, share with you how to do that. And uh, before I get into it, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe, you know, these red words right here. And of course, uh, leave a comment if you, if you have any questions and share, yes, share my videos to anyone who needs help, if anyone doesn't, if anyone of your friends, uh, you know, has any questions, do share my videos, any knowledge is free. All right, so to get into it, um, this light, there are three claws around the, uh, the side. You can choose anyone, you know, the claws just turn and the, uh, the cover just comes out. This is glass. So, um, when you're doing this, it's a, it's, it's a good time to give this a wash, you know, to get bugs and stuff that starts uh, collecting in it. But this one seems pretty clean. I'll just put that somewhere safe for now. And, uh, here we have the light, uh, light assembly. This one over here, this is the ballast. Sometimes this fails. This is a starter, sometimes the starter fails. And you know, uh, this is the bulb, and as we all know, bulbs sometimes fail as well. So, before you get into doing this, turn off power at the switch, and turn off power at the circuit breaker. I've got other videos in the link below, um, which teaches you how to turn off power at the circuit breaker, so please check that out. Uh, but in this instance, I've already cut off power to the breaker and to the room. And grab yourself a test fan, and of course, test the live connection to make sure that there is no power. And also, check the neutral connection because sometimes there may be power in there as well. So now I'm quite certain that there's no power running through the whole thing. We'll go ahead and start taking it apart. Let's take off the bulb. Okay, the bulb is connected to the ballast. I don't, I don't need that, so I'm gonna cut off cut out the ballast okay you see uh, either a red or a brown wire here or a blue or a black wire this is your neutral and this is your life you want to preserve these as much as you can but these white wires you don't really need them so I'm going to snip them off right there okay then you have these nuts that hold the ballast to the ceiling. Okay, you get yourself a pair of pliers. And you un start undoing those nuts. Okay, and this should slide right off. If not, there you go. Okay, and then I just have this length of wire here and I'm going to unscrew that using my test pen. Right. So unscrew that. Okay. Now you've got ground, live, neutral and the whole empty, uh, empty base of the light. Okay. So um, these clips are useful. Uh, there are these that used to hold the uh, LED up. I've got a new LED light plate. And you open that up. It comes with a few things. It comes with your light ring and a connector. You, um, some of the old LEDs, they come with a separate driver. But as you can see, this one comes with an integrated driver. The new models come with a driver, the old ones don't. And on the, uh, the light, you can see a brown and a blue wire. So, same thing, 
brown is live, blue is neutral. I like to do things below before I put them up. So I'm connecting the, the connector to the brown and the blue first. You just press, put that in. Okay. You give it a tug to make sure that it's, uh, it's nice and fast. Right. Then, um, these holders are in the way, but I am going to use them. You can use the magnet feet to stick them up, but I feel that this gives a more secure, you know, kind of hold to the light. So I'll just do, do that. Okay, bring my wires in because I don't want them to be interfering around. Okay. And I'll just, you know, use the magnet feet to stick it to the, to the base of the plate. You know, sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't. And that's why I, I do say that these spring clips are pretty important. Right. Uh, ground is not being used, so I'll tuck that into, the, into a hole somewhere. Okay. You've got life. So life goes to the brown. So red life, the brown life. Okay, and here I've got the neutral. Now, uh, I cut this off just now. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to strip it because the two neutral wires do join to this white one. And I'm going to strip this white wire. Just like that. And then I'm going to put the white wire into the blue. So there you have it. So neutral to neutral, live to live, and that is your light all set up. And then you come back with the cover. And you put the cover back. There you go. Okay. Now we should give it a test. I'll turn on the breakers and the switch. So, instead of fluorescent, you now have a really nice bright LED light which will last you years and it's not that hot. So, uh, if you like that tip, uh, do leave a comment, share, subscribe and of course, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.